President, President, last week the Irish people, by a victory of 619,000 votes, gave a resounding vote of confidence in the European Union project. And I would like to thank the other 26 governments in Europe and the political groups in this Parliament who worked very closely with the Irish Government over the past 15 months so that the concerns expressed by the Irish people in the Lisbon Treaty 1 uh, were comprehensively addressed. This was a victory for the Irish people, not necessarily for the government or political parties. The Irish people overwhelmingly said that Ireland's place lies at the heart of the European Union. Fina Pachi Politia Avir Thun and Conru, a Gobber a Slava Hela, an Eri Shaw, Ni Smo Namar Avi Leling and Referen Jerna. Viro Larna, a Groupi Kahara, a Nos Ireland for Europe and We Belong. Eliru Ayanu Don Fobel, Nahan Chorus Politia Tawain, Avi Agiri Go Glakfa, Pobel Nachir Alesh and Referen. Vi Groupi Femerakta, August Vishid Ladger, a son in Conru, August Inta Gniva, San Facta Shah, Achru Sontasa at on on referring Gerana, August Vishishin Le Fekel. The legally binding guarantees for Ireland in the policy areas of taxation, neutrality, and socio ethical issues clarified key concerns of the Irish people. I hope that the treaty will now be ratified uh, shortly and I'm pleased to hear the news from you, President, about your country. But I would have to say that the remarks here this afternoon by Mr Farage from the UKIP party were insulting to the Irish people and we will not accept that. The Irish people are an intelligent, they're a discerning electorate and they knew the difference from the last treaty to this treaty, that the protocols have legally binding agreement. And Mr Farage, to you and your colleagues, you will be pleased to know that your intervention in the treaty meant about 3 or 4 per cent extra for the yes side. That's the respect that the Irish people have for you and your group. 